Welcome to the 19th Advanced Maui Optical Space Surveillance and Technologies Conference, presented by Maui Economic Development Board. Please welcome President and CEO, Leslie Wilkins, to the stage. Well, aloha and good morning to each of you. As was just mentioned, welcome to our 19th Annual Amos Conference. We are delighted that you persevered to get here for this beautiful convening, which is going to be a little wetter than it usually is, but still is going to be a wonderful conference. Welcome to all 830 of you. Yes, this is the largest of the Amos Conference in our history. Yes. I'm Leslie Wilkins, and I am honored to serve as the president and CEO of MEDB. We are also honored to welcome you here to our special Maui home to provide the venue for shared research and discourse among the conferees in attendance we thought you might like to see who is here. We are delighted that we have representation from academia, government, military, private sector, and commercial entities. It has become a long-standing tradition here that we open with a very special friend of the Amos Conference. I would like to welcome back to our Amos stage, Reverend Alika of Keava Laii Congressional Church, which is just down the road in beautiful McKenna. Our tradition is to ask Kahu to open our conference with an invocation to share the special sense of place where we are gathered and to set the tone for these important discussions the rest of the week. It is our Hawaii custom to open special occasions and convenings such as these with a pule or prayer. So I am here and ready to assist Kahu with our special pule. Uh, Leslie, oh, we go in the middle, away from the electronic stuff. Okay. You guys know. A very good idea. She misspoke a little bit. Um, Kevala'i is a congregational church. We're not congressional. Sorry. Just, <laughs> we got My public policy background. Sorry, <laughs> Reverend. We're trying to avoid politics, but. A good idea. But it, it may come up anyway. But if you could um, see south from where we are, Pu'olai is a cinder cone out on the ocean. And the church that I serve is um, just this side of the cinder cone. Uh, but today, I think Olivia is coming in about a half an hour from now. So we'll see how much it starts to diminish, even being able to see down the coastline. Um, I notice a lot of you have tablets. I still rely on printed paper. Sorry. I'm not good with technology. Anyway. Oh, now nei kahala, me kalehua, eh, halalehua, o iana kanohe, o huo kauno ia, iano ine. Eli ane ho io kahiki mai a hiki mai no oko a hiki puno me ke aloha aloha e ie aloha e ie Belina me ke aloha e oko i ki a kakiaka. Aloha, and it is a good morning. Yes, still good morning. The Oli Aloha is a chant which offers a word of welcome. It simply says that now that you have come, you have brought your aloha with you, and so aloha and welcome. We're here for uh, Puleho Omaika'i, the Hawaiians would say, uh, this time for a blessing of the 19th Amos Conference here in Maui. If you are a Malahini or a newcomer to this conference, aloha, 
uh, and if you're returning, aloha. Um, over the years, Leslie knows that on an occasion such as this, I will always share my mana'o, my own thoughts of the importance of your work, and then offer a word of blessing. I want to share with you a story that may be familiar uh, to some of you, especially if you've attended this gathering in the past. Uh, within Hawaiian mythology, there is the story of Maui. It is a part of the mythic tradition of many of the cultures of Polynesia. His name is familiar. Here in Hawaii, we remember how Maui lassoed the sun and slowed it in its journey across the sky each day. He did not do it for his own benefit or for any desire to call attention to himself. He did it so that there would be enough time in the day for the taro to be planted and harvested so that the kapa or bark cloth could be made. What Maui did, he did for the benefit of people. He harnessed the energy of the sun for a day's work. There are no lassos today, but there are the telescopes atop Haleakala, the house of the sun. You may be aware that there have been recent concerns among Native Hawaiians on the social, cultural, religious, and environmental impacts, the construction of telescopes, not only on Haleakala, uh, but on Mauna Kea as well. Whether or not you believe the story of Maui is literally true, what is true is that our care for the land, the air, the sky, and the sea ought to benefit all of humankind. In addition to tracking the debris belt in space, we are beneficiaries of the technologies that provide us with a system of global communications and with the ability to track the global changes in climate, including Olivia. That all makes sense to me. I may be naive in saying this because it may already be happening, but I would be inclined to wonder about the benefit to humankind should we choose to militarize space for offensive and not defensive purposes. Maui has changed, uh, Maui has changed over the last 19 years, and our world has changed. As we gather here in Wailea, a day after 9-11, as we gather here in Wailea, a day after the 9-11 memorial services were held in New York City, Washington, D.C., and Shanksville, Pennsylvania, we gather here aware that at least 2,996 people died on that day 17 years ago. The attack was not only on the United States, but on the world. 372 foreign nationals from 63 countries died that day. And of that number, half were Dominican, British, Indian, and South Korean, and there were many others. So we remember not only those who died, but the more than 10,000 others who were injured. While we come from many different countries, we live in one world. May your work then here on Maui, like Maui's work, be a benefit to all people. Now, whatever our religious beliefs or traditions may be, we gather on a day like this as people of goodwill. So the Lao Ki, tea leaf, is a symbol to keep you safe in your coming and going. And the pikai or salt water from the ocean is a symbol to mark the beginning, the start of your time together here on Maui. So we have to do this every year. We go this way, Sorry, away from the screen. Absolutely. Just so you know, right? This is tea leaf and this is water. There's no hocus pocus or magic. <laughs> The idea is that, again, yeah, we're people of goodwill, so this is all it symbolizes. So the blessing is, Halavai, or Amos 
Iloko Kainoa, Okiakua. So we offer a blessing for this year time together here at Emus 19, 2019, in the Spirit of God. Aloha e, aloha e, aloha e. Aloha. Thank you. Thank you so much.